Now, after a night of high drama in Spain, the results for Spain's general elections are out, and it seems like the political drama is set to continue. Exactly. Now, in Spain, the Conservative Popular Party (PP), which had been predicted to win, has won the most seats, but yet they failed to gain an outright majority in Parliament. Neither the left nor the right have got a decisive win, and doors are now open for contestants to forge alliances. Now, even with 99% of the ballots being counted, election results pointed towards a hung parliament. The Popular Party had secured 130 seats, uh, 36 seats, while left wing, that's the Socialist Party led by Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez, it won 122. Now, to give you a clear picture here, for forming a government in Spain, a party needs to secure at least 176 seats in the 350 seat parliament. But despite this, celebrations were witnessed among the supporters of both the parties. PM Sanchez claimed victory for the left and expressed confidence on forming a government. Han fracasado en el día de hoy y el bloque involucionista del Partido Popular con Vox han salido derrotados. Somos muchos más los que queremos que siga España avanzando, a que siga el camino del retroceso marcado por el Partido Popular con Vox. Así que España, españoles, españoles, españolas y españoles, compañeras y compañeros, somos más, muchos más los que queremos que España avance y así seguirá siendo. Now, victory was claimed by the leader of the Popular Party, Alberto Núñez Fijo. Supporters waved Spain's red and yellow flags in support. No hay ningún presidente del gobierno de España que haya gobernado después de perder las elecciones. Por tanto, queridos amigos, me corresponde intentarlo. Somos la opción alternativa y eso es lo que haré. Eso es lo que haré. Now, while both the parties are celebrating, reality is that both parties are far away from the threshold needed to form the government in Spain. In fact, even adding up the votes secured by their main political partners won't be able to turn the tables. The far-right Vox party, which, supporters, which supports the popular party, has got 33 seats, while the radical left Sumer party, which stands with the socialists, won 31 seats. Now, this brings both the sides on the negotiating table. Talks of forming a coalition will start after a new parliament convenes on the 7th of, 17th, pardon me, 17th of August. The king will invite Alberto Nunez Fio of the PP to the, the top vote winner to try to secure the prime ministership. If Fio declines, the king may turn to Sanchez with the same request then. This has offered Sanchez a glimmer of hope to continue his reign as the prime minister. In power for five years, he is in a far better position than his rival to seek the support needed to piece together a coalition at the moment. But this needs to be done within two months because if not done, new elections will be held as mandated by the Spanish law.